Hey everybody, Ben here. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are making something I like to call over the top chili. Uh, you need to have a smoker for this, but if you don't, mm, go get one. Traeger, Pit Boss, whatever. Nice little pellet smoker. Works great. So before we start this step, you should have your smoker preheating to 275. If it doesn't have a 275, 250 is fine. What I have here is my Dutch oven. I have got it on medium heat with two tablespoons of canola oil. We're gonna add in one yellow onion, diced. And a quarter cup of bell pepper. You can use jalapeno uh, peppers or any type of pepper if you wanna add more spice, but you know, my kids are gonna be eating this, so I'm just gonna stick with some bell pepper. And we're gonna stir these up until they are softened. All right, the peppers and onions have plenty of time to uh, soften. Now we're gonna add in a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Liquid, whoop. Liquid included. A 15 ounce can of stewed tomatoes. One can of Rotel, whatever flavor you like. one can of chili beans, and fill up that 28 ounce can with water, and one packet of chili mix. I'm just using McCormick. I kind of prefer the uh, Carol Shelby one, but couldn't find that at my local Jules. So add this in. This, give this all a good stirry stir. And I'm gonna mix this up. We're gonna bring this up to a low simmer. And uh, while this is bubbling away, we are going to prepare the meat. In this bowl here, I have just about two pounds of lean ground beef, a tablespoon of chili powder, salt, pepper, and garlic uh, to taste. So get ready to cringe, Gen X or Gen Z, whatever. Got to mix this all up really good. Want to mix all the seasonings together. Oh no, I'm not wearing gloves. Well, I'm not doing food preparation for a restaurant. This is for my family, my home, and it's going to cook very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix this thoroughly and uh, go to the next step. I've got the meat all mixed up. So next we're going to do is we're going to turn it out onto a plate. Hopefully it comes out in one nice piece. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> one sec. Got the meat out of the bowl. I'm going to give it a little sprinkle of this Chilean lime seasoning. Just for a little extra flavor, just on the top. And just like that. The chili is bubbling along, so you're gonna need one of these, like a cooling tray that you would use for baking. No, that would be the way to do it. Yeah, that's fine. So you take your cooling tray, and then our seasoned beef over the top just like that and then we stick our probe into the side of the big ground beef patty now let's get this on the smoker And we're gonna let that go for 45 minutes to an hour. You know, come out, lift the meat up a little bit, give it a little stirry stir. It's been about an hour. Meat's cooking along. Now we gotta crank up the grill to 350 and get the internal temperature of that beef up to 150. The meat got to an internal temperature of 150, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm off camera, it's not that hard. 
So I'm just gonna break apart the ground beef and then I'm gonna mix it back into the chili. Now with the meat back in, just gotta let this simmer for about another 20 minutes or so. Let all them flavors mix together and you will have some delicious over the top chili. And there we go. Nice big bowl of over the top chili. I just like cheese in mine. Easy recipe, about 45 minutes of prep, four hours of cook time, give or take. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video.